George Headley was a West Indian cricketer. He is considered one of the best batsmen to play for the West Indies and one of the greatest cricketers of all time. George Alfonso Headley was born on May 30, 1909 in Panama to parents Irene Roberts and DeCarcy Headley. His mother was a Jamaican by birth. At age 10, George Headley was moved to live in Raytown, Kingston, Jamaica. In Jamaica, he attended Calabar Elementary School and later Kingston High School. At both schools, he participated in cricket games. After leaving school, George Headley worked several jobs while still being involved in cricket matches. Thinking of a career, he seriously considered becoming a dentist, but his talent for cricket changed him from that path. Today the name George Headley is synonymous with cricket, with a professional cricket career that spanned some 26 years with 22 test matches, impressive scores, batting techniques and runs, the man, George Headley, was a cricket champion. After his retirement from professional crickets in 1954, he received several awards and honors. In 1956, he received the most excellent order of the British Empire, MBE. In 1958, he was made a honorary life member of MCC. In 1995, a bronze statue of him was erected at Sabina Park. In 1973, he received the Order for Excellence in Sports from the Norman Manley Foundation. In 1974, he received the order of distinction. On September 6, 2009, 26 years after his death, George Headley was inducted into the International Cricket Council ICC Hall of Fame. In this video, I will be looking at his death registration form to see the cause of death. This is an interesting video. Welcome to Jamaican Chapter. This is the death registration form of George Headley. As you know, if you have been watching my videos, you would know by now that a death registration form records, among other things, the place of death, the date of death and the cause or causes of death. I will begin with the death registration form of George Headley by looking at the top of the form. At the top of the form it says death registration form death in the district of May Brown's Corner, Parish, St. Andrew. Uh, May Brown's Corner is a place in the neighborhood of Constant Spring. We'll start by looking at the, the, the left of the form. And the first section in the left says, Place of Death. And they wrote Roehampton Avenue. 
going across on the form over on the right side it says usual residence of deceased in other words permanent residence the place that the individual was living prior to death so usual residence of deceased 5 Roehampton Avenue Constant Spring St. Andrew all right I'm going to go back over to the left of the farm and I'm gonna study the left side of the farm first On the left side it says particulars of deceased date of death 30th November 1983 in other words November 30 1983 so George Headley died died on Wednesday, November 30, 1983, at his home. He was given an official funeral by the Jamaican government on Thursday, December 8, 1983, at the Kingston Parish Church. There is no grave for George Headley. He wanted to be buried at sea. And so the day after the funeral, his body, which was sealed inside the casket, was taken out to the Caribbean Sea by the Jamaica Coast Guard, where it was honorably pushed off and then the casket, it sank to the bottom of the sea. So George Headley's grave is the Caribbean Sea. All right, let's continue on. Below that, it says full name, and they wrote George Alfonso Headley. So yes, that was his full name. And going down, we see sex male. So we all know he was a male. Beside that, you see condition, and they wrote married. So yes. George Headley was married at the time of his death. He got married to a woman called Rena Evadne Sanders. Yes, he fell in love with Rena Evadne Sanders. And they got married on February 16, 1938 at the St. Joseph's the Grove Anglican Church in Kingston. Judge Headley had nine children. Um, his wife lived, his wife lived until old age. You know, she died on October 22, 2004 at age 90. So she had a long life. All right, let's continue. Below that, it says age. So we know George Headley died age 74. And that's what's there. Below that, we see occupation or calling. And they wrote, retired cricket coach. So yes, you may, you may wonder why is it they say coach and not retired cricket, cricketer. 
Well, you see, after George Headley retired in 1954, he was still involved in cricket as a coach. You know, the coach of cricket of a cricket team and teams. And he also played, you know, just friendly matches and so on. And giving advice and things like that. So after nineteen fifty four he he took on the the role of 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 coach. And who wouldn't who wouldn't want Judge Headley as a coach? I mean he was the best of the best. And so when he retired and, and decided to take on the role of a coach, it was not difficult for cricket teams to want him as the coach. So on his death registration form, they put retired cricket coach. And that's okay. That's okay. Below that, we see birthplace, and they wrote Panama. So, yes, George Headley was born in Panama. All right, let's now look over at the right side of the death registration form in the section that is called cause of death on the right side it says cause of death immediate cause carcinoma of the bronchus what is that? Well, carcinoma means cancer. And bronchus is pointing to the lungs. So carcinoma of the bronchus can be simplified as lung cancer. So, lung cancer is the immediate cause of death. Below that, you see another cause of death. But this one is described as contributory. Meaning that it is not the main cause of death, but it contributes to the result which is death. So, they wrote prostatic hypertrophy as the second cause. And as I said, it is described as contributory. So, what is prostatic hypertrophy? Prostatic hypertrophy is just a medical term for enlarged prostate. So he had enlarged prostate. So looking back over it, we can say George Headley died from carcinoma of the bronchus which means lung cancer. And prostatic hypertrophy, which means enlarged prostate. Thanks for watching. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more interesting videos like this.